Oh, absolute garbage, dude. Absolute garbage, dude. Trash of the third degree, man. There's no way he's walking by, huh? Hey, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, he goes right back in. How did you get in? <laughs> Stop! Listen, just pretend I have fucking the biggest tits in the world and the biggest ass in the world and my sexy voice, all right? You can jerk off for a year and a half. Am I right, cellophane? Ah, oh, motherfucking up. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Oh. Fuck Taryn. You can backseat if you want, but I'm gonna call you a fucking penis. What's going on, everybody? Tonight is the night. We're about to have, I think, one of the greatest diamond show matches ever. The Woodsickle versus David Testa. It should be insanely pog. And I got a buddy of mine who's going to come in and co-cast with me. Billy Utters, who I got to meet at uh, DreamHack Atlanta. He's a good dude. He has a Deftones white pony tattoo. And I said, I said, hey, Billy, I lost my virginity to that album. And he goes, yeah, what? Me too. And then we were instant friends. So I'm going to give him a little ring-a-ding here on the Discord. All right. Let me, let me give this guy a call here. Hello! Yo, Billy, what's up, dude? Hey, man, how you doing? Dude, doing good, doing good. How are you, buddy? Doing very well, thank you. Aw, oh, hells yeah, man. Thank you for thank you for coming in on this uh, the cast with me, man. Should be hype. I, I am honored. I am super looking forward to this. It's going to be great. Hell yeah, dude. Guys, I'm going to give you a quick, uh, quick glimpse of the man we're talking to here. This is Billy Utters. Coming Hi, in. Hello. Coming in. Dream hack. Oh, he's got the dream hack sweatshirt. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Hell Hello. yeah, man. Well, it's two minutes to seven. So let's uh, let's hop into StarCraft, see if we can find these crazy kids, get some matches going. Hell effing yeah. I'll load your stream up as well so I can go for the time. I just uh, suggest them both to our party here, Billy. Go, I'll actually, um, I'll promote you. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh shit. All right, Woody's gonna. Oh, I guess he's gonna raid somebody out. I thought he was gonna stream this whole thing, but it looks like he's doing doing a raid. So Dave has the most experience with setting this stuff up, so I'm just gonna give him party lead. I actually haven't casted any StarCraft in a while. Have you been playing, Billy? Um, yeah, I, I get on the ladder uh, probably like once a day and play like a, a few bits here and there, but um, it, I was like really fiending before Christmas and playing like shit tons, but yeah, I haven't played any in the new year really. Not too much. Word. How's it been, how's it uh, been going for you? 
Uh, it's been really good, actually. I've been um, I've been interviewing to get a new job, and I got a new job like last week. Um, so yeah. Oh, actually, no, this week, the beginning of this week. So um, got that all like signed and stuff, and it's just been a friggin' like grueling treadmill of of like answering people's like spicy technical questions about computers, and then either they like me or they don't, and, and <laughs> yeah, that's like been really stressful, Yay! but um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to say I've got a job I love, uh, which is, is, is cool. Um, how you doing? That's tight, dude. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I've been doing pretty yeah. good. Uh, the ladder's been destroying me. Since this patch Yay! and the, since this patch and the maps came out, I've lost like 700 MMR. I went from like 4.3 to like, I think I'm almost in diamond three now. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty brutal. Uh, and then work, uh, we're in between shows right now, so I've actually had like a little bit of time off from work, which has been pretty sick. Uh, so I've been I've been gaming. A lot. Oh my god, that alert is so fucking loud. I've been gaming a lot, and then just been getting uh, crushed. No, <laughs> I've um, I've actually been because they they fucked around with the patch for a few weeks, didn't they? They didn't patch it for like a while. Um, I was really excited about the banshee change. Like I wanted to like get down and dirty this weekend and play like, you know, 10, 20 games and see if I can like banshee hellion push people in like the first few minutes of the game. Oh shit. It looks yeah. like we might have a match here, Billy. Oh my God. I am tingling with excitement. So let's see, is Dave, is Dave gonna play? Is he gonna play random? Testa? Wow. Throwing some curveballs here. Now, what do you think about this move? Dave playing random. Is this like, is, it, well, is, it, is this bravery or cowardice? <laughs> yeah, he, that's a very good point, actually. Is, is, he, is he like stunting on, on Wootsie a little bit? I mean, it, Dave Tester's Zerg is okay. I don't think I've ever seen him play Terran. I play a lot of games with, uh, with Dave, so this will be interesting. Actually, no, that's not true. I definitely have played his uh, against his Aaron, but... There's no invisible units. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> oh, Woodsickle came in here with the raid, too. Thank you, buddy. Rudy, Woody says he is rolling a fat doobie. Oh, okay, cool. That, um, I hear, increases your, uh, your APM by at least 10%. Maybe, maybe it'll help him stay calm and focused here because uh, my man gets, uh, he, he's become like overnight infamous. I heard Pig was watching some of his clips on his stream last night. Oh, really? And yeah, and he had this ladder match, I think it was two days ago, where this guy uh, did a proxy hatch cancel into spawning pool. So like the okay. spawning pool is in the middle of the map and like Woody flipped the fuck out, of course. And it got like 7,000 views like overnight. Oh wow, awesome. So my man is blowing up. Shouts out to Woodsickle and I Dave tested too, man. Both of these guys. Dave had like over a hundred people in his stream just here a second ago. Yeah. Yeah, Dave's definitely coming along. It's been um that that's been a great one to see actually. I've really, really enjoyed the rise of Dave Tester. Yeah, he's been putting in the work, man. Dave is online twenty four hours a day. He's like the manager from Wayne's World. <laughs> Dude doesn't sleep. All right, guys. Oh my God! We're loading into the first map of Woodsickle versus Dave Testa. Testa's gonna play random. The show match of our dreams. The we, show we, we don't deserve this. I mean, it's we need more of this. I think. I mean, I'm fucking mm -hmm. stoked, man. Mm -hmm. And we're about to get into it. We got the new map pools. We got the new patch. Testa spawns his Protoss up here in the top left hand corner, spawning for us in the purple. It is our hero, Dave Testa. And down in the bottom right hand corner, we have the one, the only, the inimitable Wootsicle. The nice bit of Dave on the protein. <laughs> He just let that like raw dog into the mineral line. High level play here already. <laughs> yeah, who needs to split, man? <laughs> Testa has a probe out on the map already, sneaking around. Could this be a DT, DT rush? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a DT shrine, hundred percent. 
Or is he gonna play Nexus first? Is he gonna do a secret base? Maybe. Shenanigans I mean, could... already. But yeah, he could also. No, okay, so it's a secret base. Definitely a secret base. Okay, my, so my theory is, is that he's going to throw this down. Wait, let's, he's going to throw this down and Woot's just going to immediately scout it. And that's just going to like send this whole game spiraling. It really could. It really could. Dave did go for double gas. So the chances of this being a ninja base have dropped a little bit. It's just the way that he rallied into the middle of the spot there. I was like, okay, he's going right. to do it. But, uh, yeah, agreed, agreed. Disable the chat on screen. Okay, guys, I'll do that uh, after this first game. Thanks for the heads up there, chat. Woodsickle poking in the Dave's main base here. Things look pretty normal, except there isn't a second pylon. Will, will Woodsickle notice? <laughs> Woody pulling so many probes! <laughs> he wanted that to die so bad. Trying to get that scout. Dave does have a pylon up here on the map. Woodsickle's gonna play two stalkers. And Testa's opening with a sentry. What is the plan from our man Dave Testa right now? Yeah. He still just keeps on rallying the probe back as if he's going to like, you know, like set up to build an exit. Woody, chronoing warp gate. Looks like he wants to set up to expand over here. He's got a probe. Add test is natural to check his expansion timing. And sure enough, we see a Twilight Council on the top right hand corner of the map. Woody taking his expansion and he's got a scouting path it's gonna go right to where Dave is oh yeah okay this probe so, the answer to our questions of is it going to be a proxy base oh, or a dark shit. shrine or is it going to be scouted the answer is yes oh, shit. <laughs> Dave has to cancel the dark shrine he's gonna go into blink instead oh my god one thing to note here oh. is so far Woodsickle has not picked a tech The sentry is either the most genius move in the whole fucking world or, oh my god, what's what? what? <laughs> I love you, Dave. You're my hero. That, why? There's no way Blink finishes, right? Uh. Woodsickle's gonna play Robo behind this. Uh. Dave is warping stalkers in under fire. There's no shield battery here. Oh, the sh yeah. But he does oh, get faster warp Oh my god! <laughs> this, is big. this game is huge. Oh, and the recall! Very little. Oh no, it's probed. Okay. <laughs> it's like, if you're recalling something from your main base over, the fight's dead, Dave. It's done. Oh my god. Tessa manages to hold the ninja expand. And he's gonna play really? Blink. Scouted. Woot gets a warp prison. Oh man, I gotta turn off this emoji shit on my stream too. My bad, guys. All right, it's okay. It's okay. Woodsicle's gonna go for a warp prism. It's rallied across. Test is getting a double forge, which Woodsicle immediately scouts. Warp prism coming across. Just the random pile on in his gnat is just unbelievably high test. Oh shit. Unreal. Unreal. They are dead even on the up on the uh on the work account. Tessa does have blink charge on the way. Woody's got a prism. It's on the edge of Tessa's main. And we can he see this? 
He's not it, looking at it, and it's it. Oh no, it's it's he's, he doesn't have vision of it. So Woot is warping in. When Kefka can't see this in his main base. But he's only warped in a single zealot. What is happening? <laughs> Testa, meanwhile, starting to put a push together. Okay, yeah. we're up to two zealots in the main. They're just sort of chilling. We're warping in zealots <laughs> literally one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> he has two gateways to pull this off. It's oh, brilliant. Oh, here we go. Okay, Testa coming back home now. Zealots in the main. A little micro there from Woodsickle saves one of them. Overcharge is used. Two probes going down. More warpins coming. That, that Testa blinks up. into the main at the same time. He's going to put pressure on Woodsickle. Both players. There's a, a hallucinated void ray in the mix. The probes are pulled. He baits out the sentry energy. That is some pro level stuff right there. Oh my god, with the force shields trapped three of the stalkers! And he, he can't blink out because these things are dying and he's gonna have to blink to get away, but. Dave forced to evacuate. On the other side, more warp, more warp ins from Wootsicle. One one is almost done for Tessa. He's trying to take a third. Is, is he? Is he even aware that this is warp prism is still just there? Like, is he... I I don't think so because he's moving all of his charge lots away as more zealots warp into his main. Dave, the F two back home. Oh, uh, it's the Dave Tester warp right warp right next to you, an enemy. I'll get the words out. <laughs> oh my god. It's charge versus charge here. Army supplies dead even. Testa up by five workers. He's also up by two upgrades. He's got blink and he has plus one. Uh, plus one armor, that is. Woodsicle with an observer over here. Dave is getting glaives now. I, I don't know why there's a zealot orphan at the ninja base. No recall I yet. Wu has to think about throwing down his bird at some point. Like soon. Yeah. I mean, he still could have played Dark Shrine, I feel like, too. He could have built it back at home. Because those Archons would be so good right now. Okay, Dave recalls, but not before the Twilight Council goes down. <laughs> all, all right, 43 workers to 36. Woodsickle starting to get a lead here. At nine minutes into the game, as well, the macro is spicy. Yeah, man. More warp ins from Woodsickle. This warp prism goaded beyond out of control. Testa is again out of position and he just uses recall. He's got to go into Woodsickle's main. He's going to lose all these probes back home. Three probes dropping, more coming. Still He's going to... What the? Okay. He gets the Templar Archives, but back at home, there's nothing here. Lone Disruptor getting picked off by charge lots. Fighting the choke, you can just step forward. This, this is over. It's just letting, it, just letting it happen. Okay, finally. Gets out in front of it. Wootsicle starting to clean this up at home. Test of supply is falling to 37 to 66 for Wootsicle. Dave did finish plus two. This war prism is still here. Woody sends a lone charge lot to the top right to harass. This is starting to look bad for Kirktown. Yeah. The income doesn't, like, it's not too far off though. If they could just stabilize just a little bit, like. Wait, what just happened? How did Woodsickle just lose so many probes? Um. Did Dave do like a disruptor he, drop or something? No, 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 he didn't. He just, he just never 
Because Dave had three bases, and all of them were pretty saturated. It didn't really matter that Whoopsicle killed as, as many things as he did, I don't think. Um, well, like somehow, they, they though, the worker supplies kind of evened up there. We, yeah, units. So many things depowered. There's just one Artosis pylon in Tessa's main base. 70 supply to 40. Can Woodsickle finish him off? Oh, War Prism coming back into the main again in Tesla's test plane. Another recall, the third or fourth recall from Dave Tesla this game. Hilarious psych out there as well, because the recall only contains nothing that can shoot up, so he had to like cancel the war. Oh no, and well, stalkers, and Dave's busy taking care of this. Woodsicle moves back to the top right. That's a dead Nexus! GG, wow. game one goes to Woodsickle. Yeah. What? 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 I, what I just gotta see real quick what happens. Cause Woodsickle had, I thought he had more workers than that. Maybe he didn't? I don't know, I'll have to look at it. Holy smokes, what a game one. This is the sort of gameplay that we were expecting to see and we're getting robes of it. Absolutely, man. Hang on, I'm just going to turn off my chat box on the screen so that's a little bit less annoying Root for was, everyone. Was producing 230 APM for that game? Holy hell. Oh, dude, he's, he's out of control. Fast moving boy. Yeah. yeah. He is like the fastest. It's actually kind of insane. Yeah. Fastest, fastest man in diamonds. <laughs> Absolutely, man. All right, these are mo walls. This uh, this whole chat box, all this stuff's gotta go. All right, here we go. Not to choose. What are your take on the new maps? Kinda brutal, man. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, wide open thirds. It does feel like it's really good for for Zerg. Mm -hmm. uh, and not so great for Protoss. Then again, I kind of want to wait until after Katowice to be like more definitive about that because I think I'm still like figuring it out, you know? Yep. But um, it's been, uh, it's been like I said, like I've lost like 700 MMR in a week. Like the maps in the patch came out and I just started losing everything. Oh, so yeah. I don't know. Wait, I'm not worried about my games. I'm worried about this best of seven we have on the screen and spawning in the type Top right hand corner as Protoss once again down a game. It is Dave Testa. And in our bottom left, uh, we have, as I said before, the one and the only Woodsicle from Canada. One of the most based players in Diamond League. Certainly. I mean, if you if you want to watch a, a man smoke cigarettes and uh, and play Protoss, you'd be hard pressed not to enjoy both Dave Tester and Wootsicle stream. <laughs> Yo, it's so true. So I watch Dave stream and I start jonesing for a cigarette. <laughs> I gave up like yeah, I gave up in 2017, and I I haven't really ever had the like addictive like I smoked when we were in Atlanta together, but um, but yeah, no, definitely Dave stream makes me want to light up there. All right, heads up here, Billy. We got a can rush coming in here from Dave Testa. Let's see if he can make it work, put the pieces together. Second probe coming up the ramp. First probe on patrol. Can Dave find a corner for the cannons? Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Wait, he kind of blocked his own probe out of the way. What is it? Oh! Interesting. Does a cannon fit here? Um... I think you do the probe trick right where you push the probe out of the uh <laughs> Okay, two cans on the it low ground from Dave. Oh. More cans coming down! Oh! Moonsickle's trying to make a zealot! Oh, and this is just GG, I think. I don't I don't think you can 
kill all this shit in time, and he can't get down. And the two, it's the two low ground cannons in the division is really the problem. Yeah, the low ground cannons are gonna be bad, but if Dave doesn't repower, he's gonna need oh, to yeah. repower these low ground cannons. Yeah. Oh my god! The villain doesn't get the pylon. <laughs> it doesn't get the pylon. One swipe away. Yes. Water health. Water health. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wootsicle trying to get his own forge up. He's making defensive cannons. This is good play. Tessa's got to put the pedal to the metal here to finish him off before these cannons get up. Thank you, Vlad, for the gift sub. Hi, Vlad. We love you. Okay, Tessa's got his own gateway up here too, though. It's all about this cannon. It's starting to warp in. Testa. It's going to be like a stalemate in the middle of Woody's base. They each have a cannon in a gateway. Oh, my God. Right. If I was Testa, I don't think he's going to do this. But if I was Testa right now, I would 150% go on it and, like, fucking throw down an Exus. But I feel like, yeah, your, your scenario is more likely. They're going to, like, can each other. And it's going like, to just be a huge mess for, like, like Testa. <laughs> Dave is making a robo in Woody's face right now. <laughs> he is completely all in on this. No warp gate. He's got he's got batteries coming up here too. Oh my god. Oh, that forge is so unfortunate in place. Is he rebuilding one? No, he throws it down. No, no, he throws the robo down. Yeah, Woody now getting his own robo, but it is significantly behind Dave's. The forge will go down. No more cannons for Woodsicle. Although I don't think he's going to need more cannons. Uh, batteries might be the play here. Stalker looking for an angle. Dragging the other Stalker into some cannon fire. Ooh! Uh oh! The cannon shot really equals that up, that one up, though. I think if he'd stood still there, he could have just 1v1 that Stalker and been fine, but... Oh my god. Okay. So Tess is making an immortal. Can he crack this in time? Woodsicle will have the shield uh, battery overcharge advantage here because he's got the Nexus. He's going to try to make his own immortal. I'm surprised he didn't try for a, a Stargate to hard counter anything that comes out of the Robo. Oh, yeah, that would have been much too sensible. Um, that would be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've had the slight eco advantage by one row. Ooh! You gotta make a decision! The force fields come down! <laughs> See, force retreat! One cannon goes down! The micro! Oh my god! The, the cannons from Tessa here really helping him out, actually! Overcharge is used! I'm if this second. Probably. Oh my god! If he gets two immortals, though. Now Woodsicle moving forward. If he kills that pylon, it's over. Focus fire in the immortal. Oh my god. This could go either way, Billy. It really could. This is tense, tense stuff. Oh, I, I think it's just... Oh! Woodsicle loses his immortal. Testa somehow got Wormgate behind this. <laughs> it's so wonderfully late. I love it. 36 to 36 supply. Oh my god, Dave actually does drop a Nexus that is natural. What a right. contain! I know, I know. This is too big brain hard for me, right? Oh my god. that immortal's caught! One immortal drops! Tessa making a depth? I don't know. Why not? Shield battery, the battery, but like completely barren on both sides. And oh my oh god. No, right down on the bottom. Maybe if you can get the immortal down to the lower hand side of the face. The disruptor shot lands! Oh my god, Tessa has the robo at home! But is it enough? 
He's trying to get back to the cans, trying to lure this immortal in. Zealot goes down. Thank you, Vlad. Immortal gets clipped by a disruptor. Can you recall it home? No, it literally walks into the stalkers and dies. Oh my god. Oh, finally. Is that a Stargate? Yeah, he tried to Stargate in his face. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and Woodsicle breaks the contain. That was an incredible eight minutes of Starcraft. Holy oh, no. god. What the hell? Like, it's rare that, like, I watch, like, a, you know, like, a diamond to low masters level game, and I'm actually, like, tense about, like, how it's gonna go. That was, like, I could've gone either way at any point. Uh... Okay, Woodsicle's got a prism. Dave's got an expansion. Woody's gotta get across the map here. It's 18 army supply to zero from Testa. Testa has no units. He's making cannon battery at the front. Yeah. But, but, Wuchi's got a prism. Dave making disruptor here, back at home. That's, that might be his saving grace, but Wuchi's here right now. Even just like a cannon or whatever. Yeah, he's gonna elevate off the high ground. Okay. I, I think this is gonna be so. Yeah, this could be it, but that disruptor's about to pop! Stalkers up the <laughs> in Dave's main base! Voice for the disruptor! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, let's fucking go! <laughs> Test a hold on for dear life! Oh no! Everything is depowered! Dave's on one warp gate! 21 army supply to three! Woodsicle's done it, GG! Wow. Is that 2-0, Woo? That's two to zero for Woodsicle. Wow. Oh my year god. You heard it here first, boys. 2023 is year of Woodsicle. Oh my lord. That was unfucking real. I'm gonna turn you up just a little bit here on my end. Okay, we should. Oh, sure, be, sure. Should be good. Should be yeah. good. Or actually, about half that. So. <laughs> doop, doop. There we go. Put my head into the microphone. There we go. Oh my god! And just like that, Woody is up two to zero. Yeah. Incredible scenes. I thought Dave had him, man. Yeah. I, there was I a point where, like, Wu walked his uh, uh, army with his immortal across the face of life and cannon fire, and I was like, yeah, this game's over, but yeah. Oh, so close. All right, we got players in the lobby. And we're about to jump into game three of this best of seven. I'm joined here by Billy Utters. Billy, thanks for being here, man. Thank you for having me. It's always, uh, it's always wonderful to cast some StarCraft and be in such good company. Hell yeah. Especially, especially of the homies. You, me, and Dave got to hang out at uh, DreamHack. That was a good time. Oh yeah, those were like, I, like DreamHack had like different phases for me, but like that last phase um, was, um, was yeah, I think my favorite. Just you, me, Dave, and Vlad, and others just like hanging out and, and, and getting drunk was, uh, was great. Getting drunk with this man who got Protoss again, starting in the oh. top left-hand corner of Babylon LE, down 2-0. He needs your help right now, chat. It is Dave Testa. Down in the bottom right hand corner in the orange trunks, absolutely on fire at the moment with two wins to zero. It's our, uh, it's, it's our hero, uh, <laughs> Wootical. I don't know where I was going with that one, but it's gonna go with hero. I'm good with that. <laughs> okay. 
Testa's not gonna risk it again. But then again, neither is Wootsicle. Wootsicle come up here with a very early scout. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to get caught off guard by uh, a forge opener. He is gonna see that it's a gateway play from Dave Testa. Both players going in a double gas. So pretty normal stuff here to get us uh, started in game three. Yeah, that last day of DreamHack was pretty much the best. Like, really, like, honestly, like, things, like, really went pretty sick. Right after I met you, Billy, I was like, this dude's the shit. And I was like, yo, you want to do some shots? And you're like, they have liquor here? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I, it, that's when everything really started to get turned up. And I, I started having a blast. Yeah, yeah, no, things, yeah, really kind of, like you say, turned up at that particular point in time. Like, I have some photos on my phone that I still don't, like, remember, like, who, like, they weren't, like, our little dream hack crew. They were just, like, randoms that we met when we were out in Atlanta. I've got, like, this girl, like, sitting on the couch, like, giving me the peace sign or whatever. And I'm like, I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's some, uh, some adventures to, were had. Good shit. Good shit, man. All right, both players gonna open two stalkers. Uh, Woody a little bit faster on the cyber core getting done and warp gate starting up. He still has a probe over here on the other side of the map. So either maybe thinking about a proxy near the rocks or he's gonna check in and see if Tessa wants to expand. Mm -hmm. Do Protoss is not like one gate expand against each other or is it just that these players don't one gate expand against each other? A lot of the really good Protosses can pull that off, but it is just generally safer to play two gate. So I think I think they're both just kind of sticking to their guns and playing it a little bit safer. Fair I mean, you, you, like there is a ramp here, so like you know, you you could do that in theory. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. the gifted sub, Vlad. <laughs> Dude, Wootsicle has his stalkers and his probes searching everywhere for proxies. Look at this. The map vision this guy is getting. He wants yeah. to know what Tess is up to. Both players gonna expand here. Wootsicle opts for the Twilight Council, and so does Dave. Woots is kind of at the front here, though. A little bit exposed, perhaps. Yeah, it's a strange spot. It is. That's like where you'd put a robo, I would think. Tess has got four stalkers against Woody's two here. And he's gonna give chase across the middle of the map. <laughs> Thank you again, Vlad. Appreciate the gifted subs, man. We love Vlad. Good man. He, Vlad, yes, hung out, so. Vlad was there uh, hanging out drinking with us as well. Yes, yes, indeed he was. He, was, he, uh, uh, he went to the. the and Kate Jack. I can't remember who else we had. Uh, Philowusk was there. The whole crew mm -hmm. was there. Mm -hmm. Both players are going to play Charge out of the Twilight Council here. Testa getting a Forge. Woody's Forge already done. Shield batteries to the front. So both players just kind of trying to get up to this two base economy here. Dave has opted for a Robo. The Twilight Robo from Testa. He's scouting around the map too now. The sub sound is something else. Yeah, that really is pretty fun. Thank you. Okay. Woodsy maybe thinking about a third base? Already? Okay. Charge a plus one for both players. Both at 35 workers. And let's see what the... Let's see what the choice is out of the robo here for Testa. He's going to go straight into a warp prison. Mm -hmm. Does Wootsie have a robo? No. Does he have cannons? No. Is there a dark shrine coming up? Oh, yeah. Does Wootsie see it? Okay, he sees it. Phoenix scouts it out. And yeah. He makes a robo immediately after. Will that observer pop in time? Okay. He's also going to make a photon cannon here at his main base. Wouldn't mind seeing one up here at the front as well. 
as we got four stalkers and a warp prism coming across the map here for Dave Testa. Needs to make something happen. He's down 0-2. I feel like for all the games so far, Tester's macro has been stronger than Woot's, so it does make sense that you should play a, like a longer game against him and, and, and see. I would agree. That's uh, Dave really thrives when he gets up to three bases. Oh. Big warp in a charge lots here in the main. The cannon goes down. It's Stalker Zealot. Good force fields from Woot's. Oh my Nicole. god, those force fields are GSL level. Oh no. And the Zealots are derping hard! And that War Prism forced to get out of there for now. I don't think he got really ma very many worker kills, but he did put some pressure on. He's up now 45 workers to 37. Yeah. Resources lost uh, the same. 675 for Dave, five, uh, 575 for uh, Woot. Okay, Testa trying to get a third base established here. He has a really kind of small force of three Zealot, three Stalker that gets immediately scouted. Wootsickle trying to take his own third base. Dave trying to pressure. Wootsy on the defense, he gets the Dark Templar. And that's a hold. They're trying to deal from with the um, with the war prism at the same time, gets batted away. Yep, war prism forest retreat. Testa making some DTs here, possibly they're gonna warp them into yep, warp them into archons. Here's the thing: it's 47 army to 13. Woodsickle has the army supply, and he just played some good defense. There is a battery at the third. There's a battery at the Nat. No warp prism here for Woodsickle. So this force, it, it kind of is what it is. Reinforcements will be coming all the way across the map. Woodsickle pops Guardian Shield. He's going for blood. Gets the surround. Surround is beautiful. Tessa trying to micro with the warp prism. Trying to save some units does still have defender's advantage here. He does. There's a disruptor in play. Woodsickle doesn't have a prism here. Disruptor shot hits Bullseye. Wow. But it's Sorry, not over yet. Dog box hey, doggo. Woodsickle still applying pressure. A zealot flank coming into the third. Stalkers coming into the main. Tessa got another disruptor in production. He needs to save this base. I don't even. Did the Nova kill it? I'm not even sure. But Tessa just lost his third base. He's gonna try to retake it as more zealots flooding in from Woodsickle. Disruptor shot clips a couple zealots. Oh, the snipe. But Woodsickle might have bit off a little more than he could chew here. The armor supplies have kind of evened up. These disruptors is getting a lot of value for Dave Testa. Yeah, and it looks like just because the macro wasn't that strong behind this, there's still a chance that Dayton's in this game. Ooh. Even though he lost his third. Though. Nice micro there, pulling his zealots back to expose Woodsickles. Woody making Archons off the Templar Archives tech. Tessa's going into plus three. Oh, he's got Shadow Stride researched as well. So we might see some Blink DT play. Eight gateways for Testa, six for Woodsickle right now. Testa, it, that looks really bad for a second, but now I think he's back in this game. Yeah, his, his third base saturation and Woodsickle is roughly similar to one another. I really wish Woot would uh, start mining some gas because he needs to, um, but 
But yeah, I think if Dave can just sit on his hands for a few minutes, maybe get a fourth base up, like he totally wins this game. But um, I, I feel like Wootsicool can smell blood in the water. He's coming yeah. in for the... Coming but in he, for it. He's pushing without a warp prism again, though. Mm -hmm. Really gotta have a prism for these pushes. He's gonna go into the natural base here. Overcharge is used, and Shieldberry goes down immediately. Disruptor shot, clips an Archon. Oh, <laughs> oh but the warping down, down at the bottom is fantastic. Actually. Oh, so Thank many you. probes dying at the third base. And if you can just, if he right clicks the Nexus here, he gets that as well. Let's oh, see. He's gonna run away. Okay, I love this. I love the unit retention. That's actually a fantastic choice. Yep, Woody's just gonna take off. I think he got like, well, he's killed 36 workers this game, so a lot yeah. of them just happened. They did not make this one on Gameheart, I just noticed, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. Testa, going into extended thermal lands for Colossus. Interesting choice, you don't see that a lot in PvP. Both yeah. players trading blows here, a lot of pressure from both. But uh, Dave is down by about 20 supply, 15 supply right now. Yeah. And now a whole base as well. We've, you know, about a fifth of the way through his fourth base, fully saturated on his third. So um, he's looking very comfortable at the moment. But he has three disruptors. He has DT Tech. He has Shadow Stride. Can Wootsicle put the pieces together to defend this? He's got mostly Charge Light Archon. Okay, cancel oh, on the base. Oh, oh, big hit on the zealots! It's huge! Gets an Archon! Another oh, hit on the Archons! Dave Testers, they will sing songs of Dave Testers fucking uh, disruptor shots. Jesus. Oh no. But he's forced to recall. So, at Nothing the end of all that, I don't know, he gets the cancel. But I think, I don't know, he just lost three disruptors, man. Forty-seven army supply at twenty-nine. Woodsickle up by two forge upgrades, and here comes the attack. There's no battery at the third. Woodsickle's just gonna walk straight up the ramp. <coughs> Esther is reeling from the punch in the face. Woodsickle splitting off some zealots once again to hit this third base. There's DTs in the mix. He does have an observer nearby, so he can't, you know. Get rid of this free by just walking in DTs. There we go. GG's goal! And Woodsicle is up to a 3-0 lead in this best of seven. If you told me that this would have been a 3-0 by now, I would not have believed you. Uh, yeah, no shot. No shot. Or that Dave would play random and get Protoss three times in a row. <laughs> true. <clears throat> Very true. Woodsicle has a fire inside. Oh, yeah. And Dave, now in a similar position as uh, Bunny versus Hero, he's down 3 0. Dave's got to rally. He's got to rally hard. I'm, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm worried, man. I'm worried. I'm worried. I, I want the reverse sweep only just because for, for myself and the viewers, I just want to see as much of this as I possibly can, you know? Yeah, I really hope it's not... I really hope it's not a 4-0. Mm-hmm. Dave says one more game. Uh, he's he's not feeling too good. Mm hmm mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Improves his mojo a little bit, you know? Yeah. You know, I kind of hope he rolls, like, Zerg this next time and, uh... Maybe gets in with like 12 pull, like 12 pull drone pull or something. Something, he needs to play something yeah. filthy. Yeah, I agree. And we know that Dave has the capacity to do some of these builds because he does at points hang around in the Bing Bong Exports um, Discord where all of our Zerg players are the cheesiest motherfuckers on the planet. So I know he knows how to do those builds. True. True. To some All degree, right. at least. 
Watch him get Terran this last game. If he gets Terran this last game, I'm gonna feel so bad. Uh huh. But then again, if he gets Terran. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got Protoss again! <laughs> oh my Fantastic. god, dude. Fantastic. Oh, Alright, wow. well. Thanks for gifting Supposedly. Oh my god. Alright, well, spawning for us here in the bottom right hand corner. He's in the purple. He's down 3 0. He needs your love, chat. It is the captain of Kirktown himself, Dave Testa. And at the top left, with his uh, wonderful smoking emoji, it is the man, the myth, the Canadian legend. It's Wootsicle. You know, when I first heard Woot speak, I thought that he was like from New Jersey or whatever. Like, I can see that. Accent. Yeah, I can see that. Cause he's like, get the fuck out of here. He's yeah, like a, right, right. he's like a tough guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's definitely got that tri-state area look to him. That and like the tank, like the white tank top. Mm hmm Just, he, yeah, he like looks like a contractor from New Jersey. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta love the woot though. As he gets in here to scout, Dave is not gonna find a forge. I kind of was hoping Dave might try can rush again. Oh, we got a proxy. What is oh. it? From that spot, I'm thinking it's proxy Oracle. Yeah. We'll yeah, see. No we'll see. As both players just getting into their Cybernax cores now. Yeah, Testa is chronoing a zealot. What's he gonna do here? As soon as this core finishes, I guess we'll figure it out. I'm guessing it's a proxy Stargate. Uh, Woodsickle had the notice that he's only playing one gate though, right? And he's got a pylon in position uh, here to make a good shield battery to protect against Oracle. Oh! Dave's, Dave's gonna find it as well. Dave's gonna, Dave's gonna play three gate Robo. He's playing three gate Robo. Here we go, here we go. We look at Dave's vision for this one. All right. What is he looking at? Oh, he sees it. Lootsicle coming right past Dave's proxy. Oh shit, you found my proxy. Sorry, we just got Dave in, is what I mean. Dave has a zealot just randomly running. Lootsicle pulls every single probe away. Okay. All right. Good defense there by Lootsicle. Yeah, not bad. One probe lost. Some amount of mining time. It's a proxy robo with a yeah. gateway? Yeah, it's proxy three gate robo. Except he kind of forgot the third gate, I think. So it's proxy two gate robo, sort of. Dirty, dirty Protoss, Jesus. Dave, you gotta get another gateway, dude. So what What's do you do here as Woot? What's your, uh, how do you respond to this, do you reckon? Well, he's making a Stargate, which is a hard counter. He's got a battery at the ramp, which is amazing. Um, I would maybe consider getting a, one more pylon to like reinforce my gateways, just so you don't get everything depowered. Oh, but Dave's gonna play with a prism instead, so he's gonna try to he's gonna try to juggle this immortal and stalkers. Testa still on two gates. He's making a third gateway and a robotics bay for disruptor tech. So a spicy game four. As we hit the four minute mark, Dave was, Dave's got to win this game. He's on his last legs. Woodsickle. He's got a lot of batteries, man. If Dave pops up this ledge right here, it's directly into the battery. Oh no. All right, here comes the drop. Oof. Bat it away immediately. Woodsicle is gonna play an Oracle. I expected a Void right here, but maybe he just wants to get across the map and try to punish Dave. Dave does not have any defenses at home. He's got no shield battery, nothing. Okay, two Adepts. 
Loading up into the prism. He's going to try to get around the defenses, around the vision of Woodsickle. He drops in the corner. The sh Dude, these force fields from Woodsickle are so sick. And those adepts get batted away. This Oracle might end the game right here. There's no oh. battery! There's no units! There's nothing, yeah. And the warpings are all spent as well, I think. Oh my god! Oh, not no, like not. this! Just... Recalls! And Woody flies to the dead airspace. What a guy. Doesn't he hate that? I thought he hated that. <laughs> 11 kills on that Oracle. Oh my god. Woodsickle gonna expand, a smart choice. Dave needs the most banging disruptor shots here. Oh, this Oracle's still alive too. Testa's got a couple sentries, he's got a disruptor, but Woodsickle's got his entire army balled up right here. That's one Nova, and that's his entire yeah. army. Okay, Void Raid production has started, second one coming out. Come on, Dave. Land the Nova, baby. Land the Novas, baby! He's not sure. Yeah. No battery in the mineral line, despite that Oracle fucking everything up. Mm hmm Okay, he's gonna see the army position here. Come on, Dave! Land the Novas! We got the uh, Oracle back in over on the other side uh -oh. of the map as well. Oracle oh, coming workers. in, doing some damage. But at the same time, kills. Nova's Woodsickle oh. dodges. Woodsickle with a pretty good dodge there. And he's going to kill the Warp Prism. He's got that another Nova shot here. The oh. Force Fields, dude! Oh my God. Dude, Woodsickle is goaded! Unreal. Holy oh, you shit. Gotta, you got to be so salty if you're Dave Tester after that one. You just oh my. both your... Oh. 17 <laughs> worker kills from that oracle oh my god yeah ha dave had a great idea there but it just oh man yeah, I guess it oh. Nova? oh no he doesn't no, good he connection doesn't. if you can turn the fight with the immortal okay good target fire from reason for that yeah it might i think it's just too much also good target fire from Tasta there. Oh, just unfortunate, just missing that void rate. Oh no, he gets it in the end. He does get it in the end, but it's 26 army supply to seven. These force fields are just godlike from Woodsickle, man. Wait, he even- across games as well. GG! And just Woodsicle. like, Scary. just like that, Woodsicle takes the series four to zero. Wow. Well, the age old question, since, since humanity has existed, we have wondered who would win in the show match between Woodsicle and Dave Tasta. The scripture has talked of it. And, and now we have been lucky enough to, uh, to see the results of that. Oh my god. What a match. Dave says GG's I'm uninstalling. That poor man. <laughs> oh dear. Holy shit. What a game. What a match. Guys, yo, know, Billy, thanks for hopping in with me to cast this. Oh yeah, always. Thank you for having me. I You're very welcome, man. We're gonna we're gonna raid over to uh to Dave Tester right now, guys. Give him some love in his chat. Throw some love his way. He's got to be feeling down about that. And uh, thanks for coming in and hanging out. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and raid our man, Dave Testa. Uh, I might be on later with some ladder. Again, Billy Utters, thanks for coming in here and hanging out, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, always, always. I'm going to go and walk my dog, so I will catch you guys later. All right. See you later, homie. Bye-bye. Okay, chat, show some love to Dave. Uh, swing by later if you want. Uh, I'll be streaming some ladder.
And yeah, all right. See you guys later. Peace.